Uh, my name is Rita, thank you for the presentation. So today I want to show you a bit about uh, the product that we are representing and also about uh, the ecosystem of Odoo that is uh, quite interesting and different from other models of software. So um, a little bit about me and my team. Um, I'm an entrepreneur that, uh, I'm not a technical person, in fact, I'm not a developer, but I have a big and great and fantastic team to do it. <laughs> so um, I'm involved on projects and project management uh, to make processes in the companies and to make business a bit more profitable. And uh, we use Odoo to do it. Technical issues. Test, <laughs> testing. Okay, so um, I also manage other um, digital platforms projects, but I will focus now uh, about Odoo. And I'm just here because I have this fantastic team working with me, and uh, we do uh, we develop a lot of projects based on Odoo. So what is it, Odoo? Odoo is an open source business uh, application that cover all of company needs and the main value that it uh, presents is about integration because it tries to integrate all the flows of the company uh, beginning uh, in uh, human resources logistic inventory manufacturing um, sales crm all the flows that the company could have they try to integrate it and use the flow and also the um, information that the application um, work and to do better with that flow and with that data. So uh, the unique value proposition, the, the big value that they uh, propose is the fully integrated and also user-friendly. Uh, it has several functional areas. This is uh, a screenshot of the basis of Odoo. So we have help desk, purchase, inventory, manufacturing, as you can see. And besides these applications in the standard model, we have also an app store with several, a lot of applications developed by the community. And about that, um, we have 4 million users worldwide. So, about the Odoo ecosystem, because I would like to talk to you uh, <laughs> a bit about the, um, how it works, because Odoo starts uh, with Odoo community. It has born from a community. Initially, it was tiny ERP and then it uh, evolved to open ERP and now it's Odoo and this is the part this, that is open source and it's free and later it was created also an enterprise version to monetize a bit the branch in order to uh, can be possible to maintain the structure and the product. So this is the ecosystem of Odoo. Odoo SH is a software editor and it uh, is responsible to keep, develop and maintain the Odoo community and enterprise version. And also it uh, gives support to clients and partners. There are, there are a lot of partners uh, in all over the world and they have offices in USA, Hong Kong, Dubai, Belgium, the, the, that is the headquarters and other countries. And also they are responsible to make the migration services have, or, and they have also some hosting possibilities and of, of course they have, are making the brand marketing. Uh, in this ecosystem we have also the Odoo partners that are responsible to make successful implementations using Odoo methodology and uh, with experienced and skilled professionals and the, the, the aim is to uh, help Odoo to spread the brand and the product and make the implementations. And of course, the clients of the enterprise are also part of the ecosystem. But this, eco this ecosystem, it's not completed without also the community users that are a lot and that are also helping to develop the brand. And behind this community is also Odoo Community Association that improves a lot and works with Odoo SA. 
So this is only possible because there are a, a work, a, a teamwork uh, between a big community that is the point, the starting point of Odoo, and also some some part that is trying to monetize to bring some value and can maintain the community also. So after this, uh, we have also uh, Odoo App Store that. It, um, it can answer to some ne market niches and can answer to some specific needs for everyone. So if I have a specific need and I, I will develop something to my, uh, my problem, and I can, I can put it on the Odoo store and to, it could be available for everyone, for free or not, it's my choice. And with this, uh, we can share lot of knowledge and developments. So about some technical and structure thing about Odoo. Uh, Odoo is based on MVC. Uh, the language is Python at the moment 3.7 in the version 12 and 13 because Odoo, it's at the moment, it was released the version 13 last week. Yes, last week in, uh, in Belgium. And uh, it uses the server client communication XML RPC. Uh, in web, they use SAS and to front end XML, but they are, for the next version, trying to change it to, we use more JavaScript. Uh, it, we have a GitHub repository. If you're searching on the web or if you check in the website, you will, you will see it. And everyone can. Um, help and contribute to the developments. So, some information. Uh, we can download Odoo from the web page, community version, also enterprise, of course, but the free version to start is the community version that is available. This version also have, let's see, I would like to show that we have a, the community, I will put it in English, just a second, please. So about the community, we have uh, the community of developers, so we have all the information here. Uh, we can help to translate all the documentation, the developing, developing guide, also for the users. All the um, e-learning platform of Odoo with the functional videos is also available for free. So we can be uh, autonomous to make the installation, use it, make training, and also do it in our business by ourselves and our companies. Uh, and that's... Oops. Uh, Odoo also have an educational program for schools that is also for free. So in order to win the classes, teachers and students can use it for real cases. Uh, and if you want to check some testimonial, testimonials, you can also check it on the web page about su success stories uh, for imp success implementations. There are uh, big names in the, in the market that are using the platform. Uh, for example, Toyota, or in Portugal, the Ministry of Education, also. Uh, also, uh, some names like La Poste is like the same in Portugal as the, the male, the male guys. Uh, so, um, the main point of Odoo is it was born from a community and now he is growing with the both sides. I think the best both sides of uh, a product a big and good community, and also um, some companies that are, um, that are, that want to participate, and so they are also helping improving the product with the enterprise version also. So, uh, my, my note is you can use it, develop it, contribute, and make part of the community, everyone. And this is the last uh, release version, version 13 in Odoo. Every year we have Odoo Experience in Belgium to release the newest version. And then 
to finalize, uh, I would like to leave a note, an important note, because we are a company that, I, as, as I was saying, we are using Odoo to make implementations in companies. We use um, we use enterprise version and community version. It depends of the needs of the customers. Uh, we are developing also for the Odoo App Store, and we are developing, making some partnerships to share knowledge and also to share some developments. And as part of our responsibility to make part also of the community, we have decided this, uh, this month, last week, to release Portuguese localization for the community, uh, a light version. What does it mean? It means that uh, Odoo doesn't have the specifications uh, for the Portuguese account um, system that should be certified. And so we have already done it. We have certified by ourselves. And we have decided to release for the community a light version that will, that will uh, be open source. And this is also our um, role in the community. Um, and so you, you are knowing this in the first place. <laughs> so and this is the end. If you have some questions or something. Hi, is this uh, available also in uh, uh, Arabic language? Because I'm from Middle East. So is that Arabic, product available? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's, uh, it's available in Arabic. Uh, uh, maybe Odoo has, a, um, Odoo has a community system of translations. Okay, so all the translations are available on Transifex and everyone can improve their translations. At the moment, we can check the the progress of each language. For example, I'm sure that English, French, it's done. But for example, Portuguese from Portugal, it's not 100% done, but it's like 70% and we are improving it also. I know that Arabic also exists. I don't know the progress at the moment, but as they are already in Dubai, I'm sure that is uh, in a good progress. And you can help also to translate what is missing. So they have an office in Dubai? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, what do you think was the, the big benefit or the most value in use Odoo in a company? What do you think? The biggest value that we, that we are seeing in our implementations, first, is the integration, and we don't need to use a lot of softwares, applications, etc. We have everything in the process of the client or supplier in one in one um, location, and the feature of fast communication of Odoo that allows us to communicate inside the platform uh, allows us also to don't use the email uh, outside the platform. So it's quicker, it's more efficient. And also, the team is more integrated and have more knowledge about the processes that are in the company, what is happening in the company. It's more on real time, without doubts, without asking everyone what's going on in the company. That's the biggest value that we are seeing. I have a, I have a very specific question. Uh, right now, I could open my business and have Odoo doing my invoices, my inventory and everything, right? Right. But imagine I have a very particular business, like a pharmacy. Do you have a solution for that? Odoo App Store could have a solution for that. The, the verticals, that's the name we, we have for the specific markets, like, like clinicals, like hospitals, like uh, rentals. Uh, in the App Store, several companies are developing some verticals, and you, you could have your answer there or not. It depends of the niche. But the App Store, it's like for, has, has millions of people contributing for it. So I'm almost sure that it is very, very uh, possible that you have an uh, answer for that. Okay, thank you. 
Hi. Uh, I have uh, two questions. Um, one you partially uh, uh, answered already in your presentation when you said that um, the the account the, the 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 Portuguese account system is already uh, put in place in uh, in, in the Odoo. Um, my question is a part also from the account system, we have many, many uh, uh, obligations that, that we have to, to, to comply and, uh, and they have to be in the, in the software. So my question is, uh, every, every time there's an update, how does that get on, on the Odoo? How? Me as a company, I know that I'm complying with, with that. That uh, the, 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 my my Odo it's up to date with the with the newest and um, okay. regulations. And the other question is about uh, is is this all open source? Even the applications in the, in the in the Odo store. Okay, so I will Thanks. start for the first one. <laughs> it's the more sensible question about localization because. I say that we have released a uh, part of the localization, but we as Arxi Odoo partner. So the reality is Odoo doesn't have Portuguese localization by itself. And uh, you don't, you, if you download it, you won't be able to comply the tech, the Portuguese tax system. But the partners in Portugal, several partners in Portugal have done it by, by themselves. The Portuguese localization, they are certified and they can answer to all of that obligations. But it's closed, uh, the code is not shared and it's closed. So uh, what we have done, we will do in this month, is we will release for the community part of the lo Portuguese localization to you as a client or as a autonomous person could go to Odu, download it and then install uh, an applic external application that is powered by us to in your uh, instance and then you can work. Uh, th the only way that you can uh, be sure that you are uh, complying with uh, ob tax obligations is using a partner for that at the moment. Okay. I can give you another note that we are working with, with O2SA to uh, give them the responsibility of that maintenance, but it's like um, a long path <laughs> to do it. About the second question, uh, about the open source. So, the App Store, uh, the responsible for the App Store is each partner and client that uh, uploads the developments for there. So, they define the, the license that they are using, but uh, most of the, there are a lot of applications that, that are free, so they are all open source. And the applications that aren't free, you pay once, and then you can use and you have access to all the code, and you can manage it. Uh, I don't know if I answer your question. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm. I will be there. <laughs>